This is just like the first time I saw you. <laughs> you envision that really ugly piece of art right behind me? Hey, welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. Tonight we got a special request. Special request. Granny and Granddaddy, Christy and Patrick. Coming in hot. With a Michael J. Fox movie. Yeah. It's Christy's month to pick, and nice. we have established that Christy likes Michael J. Fox. Who doesn't? So. But we're watching a film we both haven't seen. I haven't seen this. Never even heard of it. Yeah. My, the Secret to My Success. The Secret of My Success. The Secret of My Success. Yeah. Is mispronouncing words and titles. Yep. So yeah, we're good at it. Michael J. Fox is always a favorite. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. Me too. Should be a good comedy. Should be a great one. Well, uh, should we jump in and see what his secret's all about? Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe, come hang out with us for this movie that Christy and Patrick picked. Yeah. If you want to be like Christy and Patrick and get lucky and snag one of those special request lots, check out our Patreon link down below. You can also get early access, full and commentary and access to pulls up as big one watch next. Thanks on that. Check it out. We also have social media, so if you're into Twitter or Instagram, you can follow us. And if you're not into Twitter or Instagram, don't do it. You're okay. Let's watch The Secret to My Success. Here we go. New York City. He wants to see what's there. I can tell him what's there. I don't know how, when you've never been. Lots of people. So I'm guessing he's a small town farmer's son? Must be. This is just going to be like your life. I never had the appeal of going anywhere, but anywhere. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to go to New York to know I would hate it there. Maybe that's the secret of your success. That's definitely the secret of my success. Don't waste your time going places you know you won't like. <laughs> well, Toto, I guess we're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> Elmer Whitfield's cousin Carlton went off to New York, a normal boy. Came back with his head shaved and an earring stuck in his cheek. <laughs> he probably got mugged. I got a nice small apartment lined up. I got a a great job. We'll make lots of money. He's gonna have to make lots of money to pay for that little tiny apartment. <laughs> Small apartment. I gotta get a, a penthouse. A penthouse. With a jacuzzi in it. His mom's always wanted a jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> is that Cindy Crawford? I think it was, yeah. <laughs> If there are any bugs in here or rats or anything that has more legs than I do, you just stay in your side of the room, okay? This is his apartment that he's renting. How how do you get rid of so much garbage in a city? Because, like, here, we will burn our boxes and take a load to the dump. Yeah. But how do you do that with no vehicle? In a big city? In a big city. And I imagine the dump is in New Jersey, so... That's why Tony Soprano was in the waste management. Yes. You hired me. I still work here today. You're fired, kid. Sorry. We all saw it coming, but we looked for some kind of miracle. Hostile takeover. 90% of the people in this building are out on the street. You are one of those 90%. <laughs> you didn't even start. This <laughs> job. I mean, what do I do now? Punt. Punt. <laughs> Sound advice. What you've got is college experience. Not the practical, hard-nosed business experience we're looking for. If you joined our training program out of high school, you'd be qualified for this job now. And why did I go to college? Had fun, didn't you? <laughs> wow! Isn't Welcome this to the real world. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out it's the same now as it was in the '80s. Turns out this has always been an issue. No exceptions. I want this job. I need it. I can do it. Everywhere I've been today, there's always been something wrong. Too young, too old, too but short, he's lying too tall. About Whatever the exception is, I can fix it. I can be older. I can be taller. I can be anything. Can you be a minority woman? <laughs> well. <laughs> Still relevant today. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a week. I'll be back. New York is, New York is just like Kansas. Intensified. What? What's that noise? Is something the matter? Oh no, mom, that's just a TV. Why? It's broken. The knob came off of my hand. Goodness. Oh yeah. Yes, we got that right here. Are you all right? You've seen the 
cops shooting through the telephone booth he's standing in. Oh, jeez. Weird day. Not New York, though. <laughs> Typical day in New York. Weird day for him. Fresh off the train. I wouldn't leave that alone. That rat's gonna eat that pizza before you get a chance. Now, when I come back to Kansas, I'm coming back in my own jet. He has high aspirations. No shit. Take this. It's Uncle Howard's phone number in New York. You got an uncle in New York? My cousin Ellen married his half-sister's nephew before she got bit by that dog and died. But he's still kin, and kin is kin. She got bit by a dog and died. <laughs> I already got you, Mom. Sleep for me. She probably drank it all. Why don't you have a lemonade? Okay. Still need to open that for her. Okay. Grab a fly swatter while you're up there. I got it. Let's go. Well, I'd like to see Mr. Prescott, please. Do you have an appointment? Well, you know, I tried to get one, but I couldn't, so I just thought I'd surprise him. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Headshot? Well, hang up. It's mounted on my wall. He's going to burst the blood vessel. Yeah, wishful thinking. It's a lot of vice presidents. Mm-hmm. Mr. Prescott will see you now. Oh, jeez. Secretary's like, you just, just see him. I need a job, Uncle Howard. Around here, I'm Mr. Prescott. Mail room. And say, I can do anything if I can just get a chance. Call Bates and personnel. Tell them I'm sending somebody down. Congratulations. You really must have taken a shine to you. He'll be vice president in no time. May I? It's rude to stare. <laughs> kind of creepy also. She's staring right back. This is just like the first time I saw you. <laughs> you envision that really ugly piece of art right behind me? The fuck is happening here? Are you stay dreaming. Mailroom. Well, you're welcome. Melrose, get over here. Mad about you. Can you get promoted out of the mailroom? You can't even get paroled out of the mailroom. <laughs> Morning. But not the suits, man. You never consort with the suits unless they consort with you first. Wait a minute, that's ridiculous. He's a person. I'm a person. I can't say hello to him. He's not a person. He's a suit. Your mailroom. No consorting. Come on. If you wear a suit every day in the mailroom, you are still a suit. <laughs> Dress for success. Oh, man, economic cutbacks. Job was dissolved. About two dozen suits got the axe. Will you quit trying to consort? Come on. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. It's illegal to read other people's mail. Hey, and what are you crazy? You're not supposed to take the memos out of the mail room. I can't follow a chain of command in this company. Look at this. Jesus. Purchase it. Right. It's a joke. They've got two people doing basically the same job. Neither one of them's doing it right. Yeah. Is he going to make this business more efficient? Definitely. He's like a quality improvement specialist here, but... Just like that crush at recess drinking from the water fountain. <laughs> Executive's wife wants a ride up to Litchfield. Check out a car and drive her. Oh, where's Litchfield? You'll find it. 
Just follow the smell of money. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. I'm not quite sure which Turn way. the key, start the car, put it in drive, and step on the gas. Any idiot can do that, even my husband. Pleasant. As you say, you seem kind of upset. I was wondering if there was anything I could do. My husband is screwing somebody at the office. What did you have in mind? Stick of gum. <laughs> it's double mint. Love double mint. <laughs> the last one I caught him with was so dumb. She thought dictation was some kind of S and M trip. <laughs> Do you know my husband? I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you. Oh, never mind. Didn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, I just hope that when I'm his age, I can wake up every morning and find a woman as beautiful as you are, lying next to me. Thank you. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. So the secret of his success is just, you know, complimenting women? Apparently. All the way up her leg? Turn in here. Oh boy. Please. Complimented the wrong woman. <laughs> nice house. Yep. God, I hate the country. Yeah, I can see how you'd be real miserable here. This is his uh, uncle's wife. Might be. Do you see anything on this body that isn't firm? <laughs> Jesus. Do you know why I stay in shape? For your cabana boys? Yes, the young man from the mailroom who drove me home. He's going to stay here and uh, do a little work in my garden. Gross. Trimmer hedges. Nice dive. Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. Huh. Oh, lordy. <laughs> so it's nudie underwear. <laughs> you sure your husband's not coming home? Who knows? He could be home any minute. Several hours from now. Welcome on back to you, me and the boobies. This is his aunt. I don't think he was married to his actual aunt anymore. Remember she died from the dog bite? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. What? What is it? It's the jerk. My husband. Your boss. Your uncle! Your what? Oh, God, that makes you... Auntie Vera? Oh, God. <laughs> oh. How am I going to get home now, huh? You want to tell me that? Maybe we'll just have to keep you here and adopt you. You're right, Vera. <laughs> He's wearing his t-shirt over his button-up. Feeling romantic? Oh. What's for dinner? <laughs> sit. Oh, sit down. Oh, oh, oh. You have to walk back to town. Thought he was going to take the elevator to work today. <laughs> the guy in that office who just got canned. The mail room knew about it on Friday. He just found out today. It's a flipping corner office, too. Mm hmm. With a couch. A big couch. No, I'm gonna make it to the top on my own. He's just gonna take this office. Pretend like he has a different job. <laughs> he didn't want to sleep his way to the top. <laughs> That's how I got where I am. That's right. <laughs> I 
He's legit just gonna pretend like he has a different job. Hello? Tucker, where the hell have you been, huh? We got a problem in Midwest distribution. What are you gonna do about it? What's, uh... What's the problem? Fake it till you make it, literally. What do you have to say for yourself, Davis? Uh, I've been having troubles at home, sir. My my wife ran over the children's dog with... That's dog. terrifying. No kidding. Also hot. He's so hot on the top of that building. To the core. We need to raise capital quickly so we can boost stock support. Right, boost it. Boost it to the moon. To the moon. Look, you tell the trucking company that we have to service our customers now. If they're not going to help us, we're going to find somebody who will. Well, all right. That's what we need, some gutsy decisions around here. I'll get back to you. Okay, bye. They're trying to cut costs, and so he's just like, you got it. Here's your funds. I have no authority to make this decision. <laughs> or you're in the dark. I don't know. Mr. Prescott? This isn't a men's room. No, they took the urinals out last week. I didn't like them. Okay. <laughs> uh, nice furniture. Goes with your hair. Thank you. I like your suit. It goes nicely with your nose. <laughs> <laughs> this conversation isn't going very well. Thank you. There's enough talk in the world already. Good morning. I have work. Sorry. I've uh, done a lot of work myself. I don't know how much work he's going to actually get about all the people that didn't know that guy got fired, just giving him calls. Right. That's right. I'm still waiting for that secretary I requested last week. I'll have personnel send a boy up from the mailroom with the requisitions you need. Just send me my secretary, okay? Why does he need a secretary? What the fuck is he doing? I got a memo here that's burning up my fingers. New suit in 4319 wants his personalized memos and stationery. Me, this guy's hot. Ooh. Uh, I don't know. Name's on the memo. Also, he wants nameplates for his door and he wants it by noon. Okay? Mm -hmm. Smile. <laughs> You're late. I already done my rounds. You didn't punch in. Boy, I love my work. Punch in. Then run this up to personnel and wait for an answer. can smell them. <gasps> secretary? Uh, I'm Jean, your secretary. <laughs> I'll get dressed. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'll move my stuff in. Great, Jean. Good idea. Where did they move her from? Because, like, I'm just trying to figure out the logistics of all this. So, like, where's the money coming from for this position? Listen, I have some notes here. I also have some charts, some graphs, some tapes. They're all sorted into different departments. Oh, I need some poster boards, some colored pencils, some colored push pins, T square, drawing table, lots of pencils. And my lunch. Chinese. The hell is he doing? Great. When they pay Carlton Whitfield. No, he's getting paid his mailroom job to do Carlton Whitfield's job that got canned. How are they paying for the secretary then? Transferred her for somewhere else. Mailroom. Mm. That's where he requested the secretary from was the mailroom. Each treadmill has its own TV. She looks really tall. Really tall. tall. Really tall. To him. <laughs> Her torso looked the size of hit three quarters yeah, of his body. She looked body. like she was at least six foot. Yeah. Ron, did you get those figures on transfer costs and insurance? Not yet. Damn, I really need them. Yeah. Blame Chicago. Okay, maybe I can help. I'm sorry. We had transfer costs and insurance for what? By the time I explained, I could find out myself. Ron. <laughs> Conference room, everybody. Come on, on the double. All right, so you don't eat lunch. Do you eat dinner? Occasionally. Tonight? Booked. All right, but don't beg, okay? It's embarrassing. Is he going to sit in on this meeting? <laughs> Who are you? Carlton Whitfield. New employee? I didn't get a memo on that. Oh, you will. All right. As long as I get the memo. Uh, I 
think we all know what happened the last time Davenport took over a company. Everyone was canned. He's from Coach. Yep. And the stand. Yeah. Look, closing down those centers will put a strain on this company's cash position. And in the long run, those cuts are going to hurt this company's innate value. What is he talking about? Well, damn it, Davidson, tell him. You wrote a memo to Mr. Thomas here explaining exactly what I'm talking about. Well, how, how did you know I, I wrote that memo? How did I know you wrote that memo? <laughs> you read your mail. That memo was famous. <laughs> In fact, that memo wasn't even a memo. That memo was literature. Well, thank you. You're welcome. If you <laughs> How old are you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, yes. 24. Well, I think that you should keep quiet until you're at least 25. If I may. How long till his uncle finds out about him? <laughs> hey, Tom! Where the hell are you been? Personnel, Chief, you said to wait for an answer. They are real slow out there. There's something going on around here, Foster. I'm gonna be on you like a rash from now on. You got that like a rash. Mm, don't the other guys get jealous? <laughs> Is that a door? It looks like it. <laughs> Good for them. Regular occurrence, huh? Oh, at least they're consistent. Yeah. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Dang. Bradley, darling, I heard you calling me telepathically. I'm very psychic, so of course I rush right over. <laughs> he must have been thinking about the last time he had sex and she felt it. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Father used to live like this before he founded Pemra. Aunt Vera. Aunt Vera. God, please don't call her that. Your husband. He's my boss. Oh, him. We won't tell him. Besides, Howard's working late tonight. On whom I have no idea. Oh. She did say she had dinner plans. <laughs> they have competing bed rails, hmm. Olympics. Is this boss can find him? a lot of effort. Just gotta superman it every time. Whoa. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. <laughs> this elevators are stuck again. I'm sick and tired of these elevators always getting stuck. Take those to the cleaners. <laughs> Why was he flexing? Gene's like, Why do I keep seeing him with his clothes <laughs> off? Why is he always getting naked? You don't mind if I stay for a few minutes now, do you? Yes, sir. Uh, which one of you is Whitfield? Oh my god, nosebleed. Oh, dry heat. Get him all the time. Oh god. No such Who is that? Well, that's the new boy, Whitfield. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Needed some supplies. <laughs> They're not even stopping. Oh, oh God. You're from receiving, right? Oh. Seems to be. Just keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? My blood sugar's dropping. Dang, it means I need food. Do you want to get a bite? 
Yeah. Yeah, come on, I'll buy you dinner. No, 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 no. Dutch. It's like you at work, never eaten. Get distracted easily, you know. While retraction or cutting back or pulling off, those are all negative forces. I used to be very negative. And then I took this personality workshop. My whole life turned around. Hiya, my name's Sheila. I like her. No, we're business colleagues. Colleagues, who needs that? You should go together. You look good together. <laughs> I'm a much better actress than I am a waitress. Concentration. It's my big problem. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, Sheila's in favor of expansion. We should bring her to our next executive meeting. Sheila is also in favor of us seeing each other. Yes, well, Sheila is clearly a nut. I heard that. You should try to be more positive with your life or you're going to wind up miserable. <laughs> I'm having a nice time. How about you? Locks around the clock. Well, the powers that be seem to want the cutting, but I, you know, I've been trying to stay open to your ideas, your business ideas. That's great. Now, what about your non-business ideas? Ideas now about my after-work ideas. <laughs> Push. Yesterday, I thought you were obnoxious. You know, a lot of people start out that way. They usually end up getting married. It's true. I was obnoxious. So true. <laughs> when two people get involved on a project together, there's a danger of getting emotionally involved. They confuse the intensity of their involvement on the project and mistake it as a relationship. It's happened to me. It's actually still happening to me, I guess, and then... With your uncle. We won't get involved while we're working on this project. Restraint. Good for them. All right, so what do we call this guy? Tell him you met a new guy. The whole thing is off. I can call him. Why not? His wife might answer the phone. Let him talk to her. Not talk about I have him. done a lot of stupid things. I bet but you I have, have never, ever, ever. Liar. What a compliment. Yeah, the first <laughs> time I kissed bad. you. <laughs> <laughs> well. Everything moves faster in the city. Apparently. I can't be involved with you outside the office anymore. Hello. Uh -oh. Yes, June, I'm looking for the transportation costs from Toledo dating September 9th. I'll call you back. I'm gonna need to call you back. I was gonna tell you last night that Vera and I have agreed on terms for a divorce. Is he just saying that? Definitely. Man like that is not going to easily divorce, divorce yeah. because it's going to cost a lot of money. I'm inviting all key personnel to spend the weekend at my house in Litchfield. I'd like you to be there too. Of course I'll be there. She's going to be the only one there. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Who were we with last night? Whitfield? It was all business. Some of his ideas are brilliant. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing them. I have to talk to him today. What's going on? Uh, I got a special delivery here, Mark Durgey. I'm watching you, Foster. I think he doesn't leave the mailroom have some loose ends I have to tie up. Good! I'll take care of it. Uh, have a nice weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Hi, boss. Oh, shit. Hi, boss. Workers comp. Uh, looking for Whitfield. Uh, got a delivery for Why him. Why are you wearing a suit? Trust or success? Have you ever seen Whitfield Brantley? Yes, sir. Well, lots of times. How much longer can he keep this up? I don't know how his girlfriend's gonna like it when he has to tell her. Yeah. Uh, I just That's not my name. 
I hear music when I... I'm in the mood for love simply because you're near me. A medley. Gee, that's nice. <laughs> oh, shit. Since the last time we met, there's been a change. Yeah, okay. Nice suit. No. Right. Ah, look. <laughs> oh, Christ. I'm not free anymore. What? You're going to charge me? Oh, you're going to go. <laughs> and emotionally involved with someone who isn't my aunt. I forgive you, Bradley. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe we should introduce your girlfriend and my husband, then we both have the same people Look, in our lives. I don't want to get rough with you, but I'll belt you around if I have to. Ooh. Oh, Jesus oh. <laughs> What the hell is this? He fainted. Fainted? Actually, he um, hit his head. Yeah, it was like fainting. Uh, knocked out. Hit his head on what? Up the floor. The ceiling. Which one? The ceiling. <laughs> And shame on you, Howard, for not telling me our nephew's working for the company. Our nephew works for the company. No, Got it. So, you won't mind if Bradley and I go out to lunch to get better acquainted? Is she Davenport? Probably. Isn't it her, her dad's company anyways, right? It was her dad's company, I think, and he married into it. Now she's slowly acquiring stock back. No, you see, I don't think I'd fit in, Hanfira. Oh, but you do fit in, Bradley. I'll make sure he has a wonderful time. All right. Now, can I get back to work here? <laughs> Be nice to have a playmate for the weekend. <laughs> oh, gross. Jeez. I'd like to ask a favor of you. You name it, sir. We'll talk about it while we work out. You like to sweat, don't you, Bradley? Racquetball? Your Aunt Vera seems to have taken an instant liking to you. Oh, jeez. I hadn't noticed. Oh, it's obvious. I think she'd like to get to know you a lot better. <laughs> She's going to ask him to please his wife. Men like us can't be locked into one woman, Bradley. It's developed. I have a friend, a companion. A girl. She's been getting a little antsy lately. Wants me to leave my wife. <laughs> well, I'm not about to leave my wife. Not for her. We're going to spend a little time together, which is why I need you to keep your Aunt Vera occupied as much as possible. How awkward. You seem to be a young man with a lot on the ball. Keeping it. The weird love square. Yeah. Very uncomfortable. Excuse me. Bradley, darling, I was afraid you wouldn't come. Vera. Oh, I'm going to introduce you to the most powerful money men in New York. And if you can do to them what you've done to me. I can't do that. I need Shh. Both. Hi, Whitfield. Whitfield? Yeah, it's my middle name. It's not Brantley Whitfield. Hi, Carlton. You're always surprising me, Brantley. That's your most attractive quality. Promise me you'll never stop. I promise. Uh. <laughs> I got Howard his key to the executive washroom. I can do the same thing for you. He's kind of already been there. Well, I've had a look at the preliminary report, and I'm satisfied that the proposed cutbacks are our best line of defense. I think Whitfield is right, and this report is wrong. When does the truth come out? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Was that planned? <laughs> Oh, he's their best friends now. Oh, their best friends now. His cute doggy. He's showing him how to calculate fantasy football scores. Exactly. No, no. See, you need to do a half point PPR. Yes, <laughs> Howard. Uh, have you seen Christy Wells? She's talking to Whitfield. Uh oh. Bradley, did you know that Whitfield is here? <laughs> what an idiot. I want you to stay close to Christy and keep Whitfield away from her. <laughs> hey, I'm your man. Good. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> he wants me to stay as close to you as possible. He told you that? Yeah. I don't know. I guess he thinks we'd make a good couple. 
<laughs> so confusing. <laughs> The deer hoof lamp, huh? Probably a book about an aunt slept with her nephew. Probably. Oh my gosh, they all about to try and get up and go sneak into the other room. There's four people in a bed, real quick. Just like you and ask you, you ever wake? <laughs> Some nights. <laughs> How many movies is this song used in? It's At in least Fast this Times, in, right? And uh, Ferris Bueller. Is it Ferris Bueller? Is it it's in Ferris Fast Bueller. Times? It's and not in Fast Times. What about Weird Science? It might be in Weird Science. I don't know. I haven't seen that in forever. It's definitely in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, though. Oh, God. Uh-oh. He's finding out the truth of her spying first. Yeah. Oh, good. The ladies will be together and the boys will be together. He's just doing his job, he, what he asked him to do, staying close to her. <laughs> right. Hey, creepster. She locked her door. I mean, she doesn't want anyone in. <laughs> oh my god. No one's asleep in this house. Oh god. <laughs> it's Howard. Howard! Let's make this a night to remember. Oh god. Think of all the things that we've meant to each other. I want to marry you, Christy. Ew. Oh, don't be that way, baby. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> No, but I'd like to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> oh my god. The sexual revolution is over. Everybody out of bed. <laughs> Wait, now when I came in, he was in bed with Whitfield. Whitfield? He wasn't even here. <laughs> what were you doing in bed with my nephew? Whitfield's your nephew? This is Brantley Foster. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Brantley is Whitfield. That's right. Welcome to the party. Christy is not the bimbo I was scurrying around with at the office. People better stop calling me bimbo. It was an entirely different bimbo altogether. That's fine. How many bimbos would you say there were? <sighs> I misspoke myself. There weren't any bimbos at all. Except Christy. Right. Huh. No. <laughs> the question is, how many people did you sleep with to get to the top? <laughs> That was a very expensive vase, you bitch. Shut up. <laughs> she didn't call you a bimbo. Business. That's right. And that's all it was. Business. You're very good at your job. Oh, she liked you, though. She stole it before she knew you. You're not an executive. It's too good to be an executive. Disappoint? Yes, I was having fun on this job. And all these crazy ideas. You kept taking your pants off. <laughs> <laughs> Brandy, why are you looking so sad? I don't know, I just started to work out better, you know? Pretending to be somebody that you weren't. Well, you did more in two months than most people do in a lifetime. Yeah, I'm gonna miss it. Is he going back to Kansas? I mean, where else do you go when you... No, I'm not going back to Kansas. Oh. I wasn't spying on you, and I won't be spying on you anymore. No, you won't, because if I see you coming my way... 
Sorry. Oh, good. Oh, good. They just need to get it out. <laughs> You're looking at a kid from the mail room who moved into a top executive position. Are you going to tell me I can't pull it off? But you didn't. I almost did. <laughs> You're trying to get their jobs back? Of course, Mr. Davenport, we realize that you'll want to move some of your own people into the uh, meeting. Are we going to see Davenport? <laughs> Most Herman Munster. Yeah, it's Herman Munster. Sometimes dead is better. It's a movie we shall not be be naming. I don't know. Is this the place? It is. Hey, good. Sorry we're late. Get them out of here. I'm sorry. This is a private meeting. I have to ask you to leave. All of these, will you? Thank you a lot. It's a hostile takeover. Get them out of here, Prescott, now. He can't, Don. You see, Brantley made arrangements to buy 5% of the stock in your company, Davenport Enterprises, this morning. We're buying you out. What? Get in there. <laughs> That's right. Gentlemen, good afternoon. Oh, these are my financial advisors. They agreed to lend me the money to finance this. <laughs> With the, all those people he was talking about. I want you to meet the new chairperson of the Pemrose Corporation. His Aunt, wife. Aunt Vera. And I control 50.1% of the voting stock. You two are to your history. Nobody likes you art anyways. Go them out of the building. Vera, no, why? This open hostility. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm not sh I'm still not sure how 5% stockholder has the, the ability to buy out a, a company. It was enough stock for her to have 51. No, they bought... Davenport stock. They bought 5% well, Davenport stock. Maybe it was more than stock. what he actually owned. Why haven't I met mm, you before? Be. Maybe you ain't been hanging out in the mail room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like them together. I like that. This elevator's stuck again. <laughs> it's gonna be stuck for a while. Gene had the easy road. All he had to do was look out for him and make sure his boss wasn't catching him. Oh, they're engaged. Where to, sir? The opera, Radigan. Yes, sir. <laughs> he gave his mailroom boss a promotion, right? I'm sure... She... <laughs> Is that a promotion? I mean, they were pulling workers out of the mailroom when they ran out, so... Isn't that a move up? Some say they're still kissing today. Yeah. They never stopped. Lived happily ever after. Well, that was fun. That was a cute, cute little movie. Yeah. Nice little uh, romantic comedy business takeover. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still not quite sure about the logistics yeah, of the takeover. You're not supposed so. to think about it too I know. Much. I know. That's I keep telling myself that. <laughs> Don't think about it. It's Hollywood economics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how they make Hundred million dollar movies and never make a profit. Exactly. Right? So, yeah, right, that was pretty good. That was a pretty. What year did this come out? Eighty. Eighty seven. So, a couple years after Back to the Future. Yeah, Michael J. Fox in his heyday. In his prime. Mm -hmm. Taking over businesses. I just I love Michael J. Fox. Yeah, he has he's good just charisma. He is just a very char charismatic guy. Yeah. yeah. He's just a great actor. Mm -hmm. Always plays a good character. Absolutely. Do you like this one or Doc Holliday better? Doc Doc Hollywood. Doc Hollywood or this? Um, I liked their chemistry, the chemistry between these two, better than the chemistry in Doc Hollywood. Okay, it's fair. Yeah. I think the love square was pretty entertaining. Yeah, it was uncomfortable, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> well, the way Vera was talking, it sounds like they stopped doing that once they started talking business, and it was just. Yeah. Really spending time talking about business. Right. So they weren't really. Right. She was just, um, she was as much creating opportunity as he was at yeah. that point. Yeah. And all about that weekend dinner party. Mm -hmm. Schmoozing with all the investors. It's all about who you know. His uncle really did not catch on at all. No, about he was him being clearly the idiot of the group. Whitfield. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, Vera clearly gave him everything he had in life. Yeah. Well, I, I guessed that Vera would be Davenport, Davenport but she was... Not quite. The yeah. other, I mean, kind of Davenport, but 
the different side of the coin, right? Mm-hmm. Taking over his company to take over back her company. Right. So don't know how it works, but hey, that's why I make videos on YouTube. Great. Right. So what was your favorite moment? I think they're towards the end when they were yelling at each other, like yeah. blaming each other for getting fired, and then they make up in the elevator and have this grand scheme, like all in a matter of 22 <laughs> Five seconds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Five minutes? Yeah. I thought the whole ball, ball scene with them traversing through the house trying to find yeah. each other was pretty good. <laughs> and then all ended up in the bed together. Yeah, that was funny. The two boys in the bed. So that was pretty good. That was good. Yeah. I would not want to have a track on top of a uh, skyscraper, though. That just... No. doesn't sound like a great way to run. Yeah. Just take one misstep and you're falling over that railing and you're... Yeah. Sidewalk. Exactly. That moment stuck in my head. It's like, really? There's a circle track on top of a building? Not a fan of heights, apparently. Ugh, I hate heights. Oh, that's why you make me get on ladders, huh? No. I just know I can hold a ladder better than you can hold a ladder with me on it. <laughs> okay. And if you fall, I can catch you. Yeah. yeah. So. It's true. I definitely couldn't catch you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, what should people comment on after the secret of my success? What was your favorite scene? What was yeah. your favorite moment? How did Gene get moved up so quickly? I like I, I liked how Gene. Gene was part of the meeting. And yeah. like He didn't really do anything other than like... Tell him your boss is coming, or doesn't matter. Tripped get, him. He trusts you. Gotta him out of there. you gotta go with people you trust. Yeah, you know? he looked out for him. Loyalty is rewarded. Yeah. Right. Let us know what your your thoughts on the secret of my success and other Michael J. Fox movies you might recommend. Yeah, and thank you, Christine Patrick, for selecting a great movie. And yeah. if you want to be like Christine Patrick, you can check out our Patreon link down below. You can also get early access, full and commentary, access to polls. I'll just pick what we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.